this group of people who uh, I got to know really well uh, the week before this. Um, also, it feels good to not be the most nervous person on stage. Um, so we're going to go through, we're just going to detail out um, what we did this week, what we learned, um, a little bit of why we went, and I'm going to turn it over to them. Um, just for context, the order is basically starting Wednesday and working through the week. So we'll touch on that a little bit. All right. Hi, I'm Kyle. I am the youngest of the group, and that was a big factor in a lot of stuff we did this week. Um, so the first day when we got there, the younger kids, so me, Carson, Kelly, Ashley, Annalisa, and Ty, even though Ty's pretty old, he had to stick, not an insult, he had to stick around with us, so we had to shovel gravel, 20 tons of it, into flower beds. Um, they had a picnic area, we had to move all the tables and then put it there. And then around the basketball part, any part that had sand or dirt, we had to shovel the dirt out, rake it, which took a way lot longer than just stacking on top of that. And then anything that had sand or dirt had to be filled. And it wasn't bad at the start, and then we just kept going for seven hours in 84 degree heat. And that, that does a lot on you. And um, it, one part, Kelly and Ashley, there was old gravel they had to rake out and move to a lawn of another person that lived right next door. And it was just very grueling, but we got through it. And then at the end, my hands were so blistered, I had to put two pairs of gloves on and it still hurt. And, but we finished it off, we were done. We thought we were done. Had some left, and then Caleb, the main guy at Amorites, said, oh, go to the road, and there's some patches out there. We'll do that, too. And then all of us put our heads down, and we get back to work. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was hard work, and it was harder work than I do here at home, and didn't know I was signing up for that. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it, we were all together most, we were all together all the time, and it was fun talking while we were working, and got to know each other really well on this trip. And so that was Wednesday, while us young people were doing the hard work, the older dudes did the easy work. <laughs> that about sums up the trip. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that was Wednesday for us. My highlight of the trip would have been Saturday for our off day. We went hiking up a mountain called Camelback, and it was fun. Me and Carson went way too hard. We got very tired, and we went back to Wally's cousin's house to swim, eat lunch. And my lunch consisted of five guys' burger. They have two patties. I had another one. <laughs> ate all that and my fries. Ate half of Ashley's burger and ate a half of Char's Chipotle bowl. <laughs> then we swam for 10 minutes and got out because it was too cold. <laughs> But yeah, that was my highlight. Um, I had a very fun time with this group, got to know them really well, and I would love to go back again sometime. Yeah, Carl, we might have to take an offering for you. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a fun time. Th those guys worked really hard. It was, I was gonna say, I think us older guys worked harder, but. You probably did. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was really impressed. Um, I'm talking about the, the shed project a little bit, what we did there. Um, it was an old building. Um, it was very run down. Uh, it was used, uh, choice books used to be in there, and, and I think they had some store, used it for storage also. And it was, so we put a new roof on for them, and we had to put the trusses together uh, as you could see there, um, it was it was a lot of work. It was a lot of cutting. I did a lot of the cutting. Um, some of the other guys did more of the harder work. So um, it worked out good. So we had some of the younger guys help us with the shingles, and because um, so, that was really really hard on the five twelve pitch. So I'm not wasn't used to that. I was up there for quite a bit of the time, but got some sore legs. Um, I think they're going to use the building for, uh, they're going to put a washer and dryer in there. Um, 
going to use it for when youth groups come so they can use wash their clothes there and also use it for storage. So all it needs yet is a new door there, a double door. Um, as far as my highlight, um, Wally and I went walking this morning. I said it was hard for me to pick out something. I think it was it was this group here. Um, <clears throat> man, I love all of them, man. We had a lot of fun, and we just really gelled together as a team, and we're all kind of laid back, and uh, yeah, we just had a good time. Um, so uh, I encourage anybody, anything like this to take part. Uh, it, it really does you well. And what I've learned is, uh, I guess, I just feel so blessed uh, what we were taught and um, what we had growing up as kids, uh, to see those kids and um, how they live. Um, yeah, it's just, I just have a new appreciation for AIM, right? What they're doing for them and um, what Caleb and the team are doing there. All right, so my name is Denver, um, and I'd just like to thank the church and everybody who supported this trip um, for the opportunity that we had to go, and also thanks to Wally and Brittany for, you know, leading out and, <clears throat> and heading it up. Um, so for me, this was a chance to, as a new, newer person here at Light in the Valley, to get to know people better, um, and I, I did that. You know, you get to know things about people that you don't find out Sunday morning. Like, you know, I think Kyle would eat McDonald's every day <laughs> if he had his choice, so I didn't know that. <laughs> Just things like that, you really get to know people in a different way um, than you do on a Sunday morning. Um, I helped mostly on the shed roof. Uh, that was, it was really great to see the different, um, you know, skills that people have, and even if they didn't maybe do framing or whatever, um, they picked it up and they helped out and did the best they could. And it, it was just, yeah, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't, you know, the way it would be framed around here maybe, but it will work, I believe. And it was just a very good time um, working together and getting that done. They also, uh, Caleb had a few small plumbing projects that I did that's what I do here at home uh, full time. So it wasn't much, but hopefully it, you know, helped them out rather than having to hire somebody to come in uh, to change a few little pieces. Uh, I, I was able to do that for them. So <clears throat> I guess what impacted me the most was, um, like the others have shared already, just working as a team, getting to know people better. And, you know, you always go on something like this, you think, I'm really going to go and help them, but it always impacts you the most, I think. You know, just seeing a different culture. You know, we live in a very sheltered culture here in Holmes County. Uh, we're very blessed. But yeah, seeing those, you know, the kids that they interact with um, every day, and hopefully, you know, they can uh, impact their lives for the rest of their lives. And it was just really great to see that. Well, I'm Murray. Uh, I was one of the older ones in the group, I think. Uh, <clears throat> but I did, I felt like I worked pretty hard, Kyle. <laughs> I did shove the wheelbarrow a little bit, and then that was rough work. Um, so my project uh, that I did, um, the first two days, I worked at a lady down the street there. Her name is Alice. And in that neighborhood anyway, I think most of Phoenix, most people have a fence around their property or a wall. And she had gates, everything's gated. And Alice is an older lady. She, the way I understand, she's volunteered at Aimright for, I think they said the last seven years. Uh, very faithfully there every week. There's something on Thursdays. She's there every Thursday morning without fail. She's there. And she told me that she also volunteers at other places also. She said, I volunteered my whole life. She said, I just enjoy it. And she's one of those people that you can tell she doesn't expect anything in return, just a selfless lady, really nice lady, but she didn't have the money, obviously couldn't afford to have her gates refurbished, so Caleb wanted to do something nice for her, so um, myself and Ben, one of the staff members there, Kelly also helped some, 
we uh, took all the cedar boards off of her gates and replaced them, painted the gates and replaced all the wood with new. And she was just so grateful and humbled by it. And um, I think some of her neighbors were jealous. She got asked by the neighbors if she's so rich that she can afford all this work done. And yeah, people came and asked if we were professionals and whatever, if we knew how to fix shower doors and things like that. But um, it was just really, uh, that was probably one of my highlights is, is just to see her gratefulness um, and talking with her and seeing how she lives right there in the middle of four million plus people. There's Alice. Doesn't expect anything from anybody else but selflessly giving. And uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of made an impact on me and made me thankful for what I have here. Um, we're pretty blessed here in Holmes County. We really are. Um, that was one of my highlights, I guess, was just working for her. Um, also, I really enjoyed getting to know the group. I think I know the people at my church, but when you live um, 12 adults and a four-year-old teenager, uh, in, in one house, we all stayed together. We had two showers, so you get to know people better, um, you know, people's daily habits and whatever. Um, um, and on, on a lighter light side, one of my highlights would have definitely been watching uh, Kyle, the king of calories, uh, consume. Yeah, it was, it's phenomenal. It's, it, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, on a more serious note, we really have some good kids here at our church. Um, I call you guys kids because I feel pretty old around you. But um, yeah, we've got wonderful young people here, and it was, it was a neat trip. I'm Brittany, um, and Wally and I actually, as many of you already know, um, we both spent about a year, a um, little over a year, out at Aimright um, back in 2008 and 2009, and that's how we ended up meeting. Um, so there's just lots of memories out there for us and a huge history, you know. Um, one of the things that I spent a lot of time on while we were out there this week was um, spring cleaning the church. Um, the ladies here, they each different days came in and helped, and um, we were able to just wash walls for them and baseboards and just do you know a more thorough cleaning for them than what they usually have time for. Um, that's one of the weekly jobs of the interns is to clean. Um, but you know, obviously they don't have time to wash walls every week. Um, and there's always kids coming in and out of the church um, and the building gets, you know, used a lot. So it was pretty dirty, um, but we were able to, to do most of the church. Um, there's only a few parts of it that we, we weren't able to get to. And I know that was just a huge help for them. Um, for me, a highlight it was really hard to choose, you know, just one thing. Um, being back there again, it was the first time that I had gone back since 2009. And um, since that time, you know, a lot of things have changed. Um, there's different people. Um, Caleb is a new director, um, so things are run a little bit differently. Um, there's new interns, obviously, new kids, but everything is still, you know, the, the goal is still the same and they're still just trying to, you know, create relationships with the kids out there um, and just, you know, show them the love of Jesus. Um, through, through going back and just spending time there again, I just um, felt grateful um, for that time in my life where I was able to go and spend a year out there. Um, for us, you know, that was just something that, you know, you wanted to do, you give up a year. It doesn't seem like such a big deal. But for the kids out there, um, you know, coming to Aim Right every week and learning about God, it, it changes the course of their life. Um, and a lot of them are in a different situation than they would have been had they not been coming to Aim Right. Um, this week, or last week, Wally and I were able to meet up with uh, two of the teens that were very faithful in coming when we were there, and they're around 28 years old now or so, 
And it was just so good to see them and talk to them. Um, both of them had steady jobs that they were working and um, one of them had, had bought a house and he even bought a house for his parents, was able to move them away from downtown. And that was just really cool to see them doing well in life and um, you know, being in that spot because, you know, without the church being there and without aim right, you, you just don't know where they would end up. There's a lot of, a lot of their friends that um, were in jail or in prison or in, in gangs, like you just never know. And so that just, it was really cool to see, um, see some of them and just um, see the, the fruit of, you know, the work that, that we did. Um, not just us, but other interns as well. But that was that was probably my highlight, just to see the see the results of all those years ago. Hi, my name is Ashley, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about Thrive AZ. So this photo shows just a little bit of kind of what we were doing that day. So there is a huge mountain of clothes. Um, they get donated like truckloads of stuff um, and they just don't have room for everything so what we did the main part of that day was we went through a huge pile of clothes and kind of sorted out the really good pieces that we thought that they would be able to keep in their store um, everything else we put into trash bags and set them aside for um, there was like a church that would come and pick them up and also um, they would donate that stuff to Goodwill because they just didn't have the room for it um, and the mountain of clothes is, it was huge. It was, I think, maybe taller than me. And it was just, it looked really defeating and you felt like you worked on it for hours. And um, after a while you were like, I barely made a dent. So, um, but it was a lot of fun with the people that you were with. Um, eventually we got through just one corner. It was like just that one pile of clothes that we did the whole day. So, um, yeah, that was a very interesting experience. Um, and for my highlight, I also couldn't really pinpoint just one thing. I think it was the whole trip for me that was a highlight, but definitely getting to know everybody that went on the trip. I kind of knew some of them, but to get to know them even more, um, yeah, like living with them, like Murray said, you get to know them, like how they are in the morning and if they're a morning person and then also in the evening and um, just little things about each person that you get to know um, and it makes your relationship with them a lot stronger. Um, but I really loved the place down there and it was a really good feeling being able to help people. Um, I really loved it and I would love to go back again, so. Hi, I'm Carson. I'm going to be touching on on the kids program. Um, it's called Kingdom Kids. They have some type, some type of kids program like Monday through Thursday throughout the week. And so for this, on, I, think, I think it was on Thursday, this is like an elementary age group of kids. And so we were supposed to show up at five o'clock and we were gonna help out with uh, the lesson or the story that they were talking about. And we showed up, I think, at 5 o'clock on the dot. And we were supposed to reenact this skit. And we pretty much just winged it. I was the narrator, and these three guys were some good actors. <laughs> and, yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, yeah, after that, there was a little time of playing games outside with the kids. And it was fun to try to get some conversations with some of the kids. We weren't really any familiar faces, but they were eventually able to open up to us. And then there was also a short time of snacks and we were able to sit down with some of the kids and I thought that was pretty enjoyable. And um, another highlight of mine throughout the trip besides spending time with all these guys and getting to know them, um, I enjoyed uh, getting to know some of the interns that are there. Um, yeah, I guess just kind of their, their story and what where they came from. and. Actually, a few of them are Clemson fans, so we were able to connect on that pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just fun to get to know them. Also, I enjoyed camelback hiking, which was pretty fun for me. Kyle touched on it. We were going way too hard to go to the top. We did not know how high we were going, so we just we would go hard for a little while, and then we had to take a break. 
And next thing we know, Murray started walking right, right past us. <laughs> he was just, he was staying slow and steady. And then it happened a few times, but me and Kyle made sure that we passed him towards the top. <laughs> but yeah, we were pretty tired towards the end. I think there's a good picture of Kyle sprawled out on his back with no, no shirt on. He was pretty tired. But overall, I definitely enjoyed enjoyed the trip and the things we were able to do and learn, but yeah, it was very enjoyable. So my name's Tyler. Um, I'm pretty new here at the church, and uh, so when Wally came up with this trip, um, I was like, sure, great opportunity to uh, get some, get to know more people, and um, definitely, definitely did that. And um, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Kingdom Kids. Um, yeah, that, that skit was really uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> and and uh, so we weren't even able to use words. He was just um, saying what we're supposed to act. And we had no um, pre-plan of like what we're doing. Um, I think we've, we figured out who... What? Oh, we're we're acting out um, uh, that that parable about the the king and his servant um, that owed a lot of money and he threw him in prison later, anyways. And um, <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm the guy that the uh, the one servant throws in prison uh, for owing him like ten dollars or something like that. Um, anyways, yeah, it was just. It was a lot of fun, and, and I was really impressed with how the kids just sat there and, and listened. Um, I've been a lot, in a lot of kids' programs before, and kids usually don't sit that well. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, and then um, afterwards, um, getting to hang out with the kids, um, playing games. I think we played um, go, uh, shark, uh, sharks and minnows, and, and some other green, red light, green light, just a lot of fun, like younger kids games and um, just got to hang out and, and to be able to get to know the kids. And then we had dinner for them afterwards um, and just being able to help serve um, in that way was just uh, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, a highlight um, was definitely just getting to know all these people. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Um. My name's Shar. My name's Shar. Um, I was really thankful that we got to go along on this trip. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Harvest Compassion. I think we went there on Friday. And that is, uh, it was totally different from the thrift store. It was very organized, very clean. Um, it was a place where probably lower income people can come in and pick out a certain amount of food and a certain amount of clothes. Um, and everything is, is just, it was just so structured and we enjoyed getting to know Paul, the, the guy that was running it. Um, and I, uh, my job there was to help them when they came through to like count their articles of clothing and to to take them off the hangers and put them in bags. And the people were so appreciative of of what they got, and that was just that was good to see because they were just they were very appreciative of what they got. So yeah, I really enjoyed that day. A um, few of my highlights. It was hard for me to pick out one, so. Obviously, the weather. I lived in Phoenix for three and a half years, and I love the weather. We had almost pretty well perfect week weather-wise, I would say. Um, 80s, maybe low of around 60 at night. Uh, the weather was just gorgeous, and I just, I was, yeah, I really enjoyed that again. One evening, we were sitting out on the deck just chilling, and one of the guys said, he was checking the weather on his phone, he said, oh, there's a chance to rain tomorrow. We were like, Really? <laughs> And he said, yeah, 5%. <laughs> and it was just, you'd wake up, and it was just another beautiful sunny day, um, just every day. And so, yeah, we really enjoyed that. The hike, um, 
although it was a little bit harder than what we anticipated, Wally hadn't told us that it's probably half of it is actually rock climbing. Um, but it was, it was, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. And I was thankful, obviously, Arlen and I are the oldest in the group, but I'm thankful for the health and strength that we have that we were able to, to go along and to do something like this. I think I was the last one to the top on the hike, but at least I made it. And I really enjoyed just working together with this group. It was a great group. Um, I really enjoyed getting to know some of the newer ones like Annalisa and Tyler and Denver. It was just a great um, week to get to, to know some of these people better that are you know, a little bit newer here um, at church. And something that really impacted me was, I think Arlen had mentioned this too, how blessed we are um, to grow up in Christian homes and the teaching that we have. Um, these kids, they're... They're, they're not blessed with that like we are. And it just made me realize how blessed we are here in our community. And it was so encouraging to me to see some of the kids that came back and connected with Britt and Wally. And to me, that had to be really encouraging to, the, to Britt and Wally to see what an impact that they made on these kids nine years ago. So that was, that was really encouraging to me. Another thing that I learned is Kyle loves to eat. <laughs> we figured Curl and Karen saved a little bit of money last week. <laughs> he wasn't there. But it was, it was fun to watch him enjoy his food. <laughs> Another thing that I learned is it takes a while to shower and get ready if you have 13 people in a house and only two bathrooms. <laughs> But everybody just kind of did what, what we needed to do, and it all worked out. I would like to thank some people. I'd like to thank the mission board for planning this trip, and also Britt and Wally for leading us well. Um, it was a, we were always, we always knew what was, it was well planned. We always knew what was coming up, and we knew what to expect. And we also had a credit card from someone along on our trip. He goes by the name of Harley Paul. And he paid for our food on this trip. So I would just really like to thank him for that. So my name is Annalisa Miller. Um, I've been coming here for about seven months. Um, so yeah, I didn't know really a few people too. So yeah, I got to know them very well now. But um, yeah, I'm sharing on the day we went to the Harvest Compassion Center. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, well, I'm cleaning the floor there. But um, yeah, I, people came in that were um, in need of food and clothes. And um, we just took them through and just sh um, showed them what they could pick out. And just, yeah, just show kid or uh, show love to the kids um there some kids came along just yeah show love to them and yeah it just it really opened my eyes on how thankful we are and the community we live in um but yeah it was just made me happy just share helping people out and yeah and i talked with uh paul when i was there and he he i asked like how how did this all work like how do people know about it? And he said it's all about where, like, if um, somebody like comes, knows that somebody that like needs food or clothes, they just send them there. And so yeah, it was yeah, it just really opened my eyes. Um, so yeah, that was on Friday, I think. And um, we went afterwards home or to the church and had a good dinner um, or lunch, I think so. And yeah, it was just, yeah, really good food there. And I, Caleb and the family, they, yeah, they just really, I, yeah, while well, they, they go out of line for what they do for Aim Right and for all the people that come. Um, so yeah, that was, yeah, it just really opened my eyes what, how people just give themselves up and just help others out. That's that, yeah, opened my eyes there. Um, so my highlights, I have a few. Was probably Wally working, seeing Wally work. Um, 
I, I, <laughs> I told him if I had to share, I'm going to share that. Um, but yeah, I work at New Camp, and I never really see him work. <laughs> so yeah, he, I, I like, I was shocked to see him on the roof and actually help me. <laughs> but yeah, and other highlight was um, probably all the ice cream we ate. I love ice cream. And for sure, with the warm weather, it was perfect for ice cream yet. And the hiking the camelback, that was definitely, uh, yeah, it was a tough one. It was, yeah, hard, but, you know, you can, you can do it if you just want to, actually. But, um, yeah, it was, it was fun, the views, and, yeah, it was very beautiful. And, yeah, also a highlight was just getting to know everyone. Like, I literally didn't know anyone, but now, yeah, I know Kyle very well. <laughs> But yeah, I, I enjoyed everyone, just, yeah, we just all, like, included each other, and yeah, it was, it, yeah, very fun. And so, yeah, I just, I want to thank Wally and Brittany for this, for getting this all together. Um, when I, uh, when uh, Caleb came to talk here at church, or I think he preached one Sunday, I was like, I want to go, I want to experience this. Um, I never, I never went to anything like on a mission trip before, so yeah, I was like, I'm going to send it and just go. And I did. So, yeah, I just, it was, yeah, a very good experience for me. I would recommend anyone to just, yeah, go for it if you really want, want to do something like that. So, yeah, I definitely want to go back someday again. Maybe when it's not so hot. Well, it wasn't that hot, but it was, it was warm. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, so it opened my eyes about how this community, how we all, yeah, this in this community we are blessed because, yeah, I just, I do with my eyes in some places we uh, went through it just like yeah the houses and the people like yeah we are very um, blessed in this community and yeah I also want to thank um, Paul for I, I asked why like who is this guy and he just he tried to describe him but yeah I didn't know him but now I see him <laughs> but yeah I just want to thank him for his heart and um, <laughs> And just giving giving us his credit card and just enjoying the food out there. So yeah, thank you, Paul. And I want to thank also my friends and family that prayed for me as I went. And just yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Kelly. Uh, I'm going to talk about kind of our fun day, which was after the three days of working. We decided to uh, Wally decided to take us to Camelback Mountain. We read the signs there, and it said extremely difficult. And it said, no children. So Nolan took his Crocs and put them in four-wheel drive, and he <laughs> hiked up that mountain. I think he only cried, cried like twice. <laughs> but yeah, it was actually pretty difficult. Uh, it was lots of rock climbing, and there were literally railings that you had to grab a hold of at some points. And if you let go, you might fall down, and it would be pretty painful. Um, at the top, it was really amazing. You could see like all of Phoenix and... Like, just see just how big it is and how many people that are actually there and how many people it would take to impact there. Um, yeah, here's a group photo of us. Um, that's last one. Okay. Uh, but you would think that going up was the hardest part, but it was actually going down because you had to hold yourself back from, like, going, like, going too fast. If, if you went too fast, you would just fall all the way down. Um, we on the way up, I saw a woman who had a uh, like her arm was in, like in a cast, like it was a T-shirt. But then when we were going down, we saw firefighters and like lots of them were going up looking for her because she broke her arm. And we were talking to them a little bit, and they said it's like almost a daily thing that they go up there to like for rescues and stuff. But after that, we decided we would get five guys in Chipotle, and we went to Wally's cousin's house for swimming and just chilling and playing cornhole. So. That was fun. My highlight was when we were doing the rocks and stuff, uh, there were random people that would come and help us, like people just off the streets who would load up the rocks and, and push the wheelbarrows. Like that was, it was hard work, but it was interesting to see them do that. And people like were encouraging us, like telling us that it looks good and telling us thank you. So you can really see what Aimright is doing and how they're impacting the people down there in Phoenix. And that was really nice to see. I'm going to come out here because I wrote some notes and I want to set them down. Um, 
Haley's going to stay on this picture for a minute. I'm going to start in. Um, Jesse asked me last week what I learned while I was in Phoenix um, this last time. And I, uh, I told him it's easy uh, to lead a group of willing people. So um, my highlight for the week, you know, I thought was being in Phoenix, visiting with a lot of uh, teens and friends and being in familiar places and driving through and seeing those memories. Um, that was good. I really enjoyed it. It's been, um, I've lived here 10 years, 11 years ago, I moved home from Phoenix and that was home for two years. Um, and it was great. But I was really encouraged this morning and realizing that really my highlight for the week was watching this group get to that mountaintop. So we, um, we didn't start there. Um, Tuesday, we came around together and stood out in the parking lot and got ready to go. And the van ride to the airport was pretty quiet in comparison with how the van ride went the rest of the week um, as Kyle spotted every fast food joint in Phoenix. Um, watching these people just live together, um, waking up in a small Airbnb and being uh, patient with each other as we walked through um, the guy's sleeping area and got out the Euchre cards and played games until it was time to go, watching um, the patients as we came back from a long day of working. Um, Haley, you can go through some of these pictures. Um, you know, even this was the first night, you see the groups are kind of set apart. You see Kelly and Ashley, uh, the older table over there, and us as a family uh, kind of split up as groups when we got there. And then as the week progressed, watching this group of people go through things together and live together and just be together. We work, Arlen worked pretty hard, Kyle. <laughs> Um, you know, just being together. And I look at a lot of the people um, in the church here, and I don't recognize all the faces anymore. We've grown a lot, and we, we're not going to get to that mountaintop by just passing by and sitting quietly beside each other in the rows on Sunday morning. Um, it's going to take going out and doing stuff, being together, living together, going through things together, um, to get on that mountaintop together. Um, we're all there. This was a different mountain we drove to um, on South Mountain. And so we just, to me, the highlight was watching these guys and girls do what they're good at. Kyle's got a motor like nobody I've ever seen. He said seven hours of rocks. He's the only one that didn't break except for lunch. Um, Arlen made the comment to me one day, I, I don't think I've ever shingled a roof. And we're up there shingling away, and he's doing whatever it takes to get stuff done. And Denver's jumping in and, you know, being a little timid at the beginning and quiet. And he's not grumpy all the time, I promise. Um, <laughs> but watching him jump in and do some plumbing, and it was perfect. And it was exactly what they needed at the church. And Murray going down, hey, Murray, we need these gates painted. He just took that project on. Um, I get to see Brittany's perfection at home all the time. Um, <laughs> watching Kelly and Ashley take um, a week, six weeks before their wedding, to go serve in Phoenix and not be off on their own all the time. They were just in the group, in the mix. Ashley went one day and Kelly stayed and shingled the roof with us. And watching them just give up stuff. Um, Carson, being Carson and cracking a joke here and there. Um, just watching him be with the kids and be that gentle person that he is and um, welcoming. They warmed up to him right away. Um, it was nice to have a stunt double so that it looks like I was working hard with the <laughs> wheelbarrows. Um, nobody noticed that we look alike the whole week, I promise. Um, and then Char kind of being a mom to the group and just taking on that role and jumping in and making sure we all had what we needed and making sure the kitchen was cleaned up. Her and Brittany just jumping in and doing those things for the team. And Annalisa stepping out, you know, being here four months when the team was announced and saying, I want to go do that. It just takes that step. And so this was my highlight for the week. 
this group and these friends that I now have. Um, looking out at the group here, um, it's the same, same thing. I'm excited to see who we have. We don't know what that potential is that's lying under the surface of each of you that are here, but it, sometimes it takes signing up and going. Um, you know, people lay down time with their kids. I know Denver missed baseball games, some of the first ones to go serve. It's going to take giving something up. Um, for Brittany and I, we had um, like 10 babysitters, so it was a little bit of a vacation for us, but not really. But I know for some of you here, you don't know a lot of the people up here, and it's cool to hear about that experience. But my encouragement to you this morning is keep believing and planning for that big thing that you're called to or that you see coming. Caleb and I have been talking about this trip for five years, on and on. And the week before we left, I said, Caleb, thanks for continuing to push into me. Hey, can you bring that team this year? Can you bring that team this year? Because without that, it doesn't happen. And so some of them touched on it. If you have a desire to serve, come ask if there's something you can go do. If you have a good idea to take a team, come see um, Jimmy or Brennan. They'll point you to one of the guys on the mission board, and we can help you get involved. Maybe it's volunteering here at church and getting involved with the kids' ministry or the youth ministry. We, you know, we always need volunteers for that, but just do it and get involved because we get to that mountaintop together. We can't do it individually. Um, right, Ashley? Um, so, um, you can see how this part goes. So, Aimright does kids' programs, and they minister to the community. Um, you saw a little bit about of what Murray did in painting a gate for somebody that volunteers at the food pantry, and that's cool. It's great. They're impacting the community. People are walking by. Um, they stayed off of it a little bit, but one of the guys that showed up in the morning had his morning tall boy with him, and he set it down and grabbed a wheel, wheelbarrow, and away he went, helping the community. Some of the kids that came back and visited with us, um, Luis grew up in the projects just down the road. He was a teen or a kid in the programs 30 years ago, and he came back. He's been around. His family's gone through. He doesn't live in the neighborhood anymore, but he came down to see us. We were there, and as he left, he stopped and he just looked at the group we were eating lunch and he said, thanks for what you're doing here. Because he sees that neighborhood for what it is. We're not used to that here. We don't see that every day. Um, I had the privilege to visit with my friend, Christian Valenzuela on Friday afternoon at his house. Um, Christian grew up in the Garfield neighborhood, one of three undocumented kids with his parents right down the road from the church. We ate some really good Mexican food from the restaurant right beside where he grew up. But 24 years ago, he came across illegally and lived with his parents and living in fear of not knowing what tomorrow is, having three siblings. And he, at six, got plugged into Aimright and went through the programs. So he went to kids club. When he was in elementary, they picked him up and they brought him to church and they told him about Jesus and that he was loved. He went through the, the meet, uh, you know, the middle school programs. He went through mentoring. He went through tutoring. He went through teen night programs. Um, when Brittany and I were there, he was 17, 18 years old. And we got to see him graduate high school. You know, the first person in his family to graduate going through the program. And he grew up, you know, right there in one of the roughest neighborhoods in Phoenix, Arizona. And if he didn't live two blocks from the church, I wouldn't be sitting in his living room in the house he bought after he bought his parents a house for them to live in and involved in a church, married, wanting to start a family because Aimright was there and brought him out. And we saw a lot of kids that are six, seven, eight, years old and they're starting that journey you know christian's 30 i'm 33 we had very different paths we're still on very different paths but we're all the same we're all just people and we didn't deserve what we have we don't deserve the grace that we have and the work we were able to do 
the highlight of watching this team go and watching the energy it gives the interns, Caleb, that group, to empower them to now continue to bring that next man or woman through the program just every day, giving them a place to be loved and to find direction in life as Aim Right is. Um, I just wanted to thank the church for allowing us to go, um, for funding that. Uh, we want to continue as a mission board to send out people. And for some of you, that's not going to be the calling. Some of you, we're going to tap you on the shoulder because hopefully we need more finances to send more people. Um, but that's the goal. So come talk to us. Thank you for letting us share. Um, we uh, had a really good time, and I'm really glad that we were given the opportunity to go. Um, I want to give one funny thing there at the end. We have a video of Kyle that I'd like to play. We got pretty dusty the one day, and it was pretty warm. So Kyle just cleaned up with the leaf bro. <laughs> Get to know the people sitting beside you. Get to know the rest of the church. Get plugged in. Um, it brings a lot of joy to each other when we just be ourselves, and all of you have tons to offer. So thank you for letting us share.